Hello, I'm Michael Loja and welcome to Ohm Times Magazine's monthly Law of Attraction mailbag with Michael Loja, author of Law of Attraction. I'm going to read to you today, uh, today's question. Some people say that when you use Law of Attraction, there might be spiritual or religious reasons that are preventing you from having certain things like money or material things or good health. Does Law of Attraction decide what's best for you? Wow, wouldn't that be a huge responsibility for Law of Attraction to have to make those decisions? Well, first, let me define what Law of Attraction is. Law of Attraction is this universal energy around you. And right now, it's eavesdropping or checking out or kind of hovering, if you could call it that, in a way that it's responding to the vibe that you're sending. And what's a vibe? Well, a vibe is simply a mood or a feeling. Right now, everybody has this mood or this feeling, and it's either negative or positive. Law of Attraction is eavesdropping on this vibe that you're sending, and it's matching it. And what does it do to it? It gives you more of the same. You know, I often joke about the job description for Law of Attraction. It's only two words long. I remember when I worked for the uh, Canadian government, I had a job description that was 12 pages long. And the last thing said, and anything else we want you to do. But the job description for Law of Attraction is easy. It's two words. It's match vibrations. Imagine, help on it, vibrational matcher, no brain required. You see, law of attraction doesn't make decisions, and it doesn't decide, and it's not prejudice, and it doesn't have favoritism. It is obedient. And right now, it's responding to the vibration that you're sending. Now, I do hear a couple of expressions that I'd like to add to what you said. I hear people say, well, law of attraction or the universe is testing me. Well, the universe isn't testing anybody. It's simply matching your vibrations. Or I'll hear people say, wow, that's the third time that I saw him or that I saw her or that I noticed that. It must be meant to be. Well, the reason why it showed up the second time could be because you gave it attention the first time. And the reason that why it showed up in the third time is definitely because you gave it attention and energy the first and second time. You see, both positive and negative things are showing up for us in threes and fours. It's not a sign that you're meant to have it or do it. The sign of whether you're meant to have it or do it is how it makes you feel. If it feels like it's a match, and match meaning it feels good for you, then do it. If not, then don't. So in short, Law of Attraction doesn't make any decisions. Law of Attraction isn't planning your future, and it isn't paving the way. You're doing that. You're doing that with your vibrations. You decide. There's nothing outside of your life that is doing it for you or to you. It's your vibration. And guess what? It's the only thing you have control over. And that's good news because you can control your thoughts and your words so you can give more attention to what you do want and less attention to what you don't. Be sure to join me next month for Michael Loge's Law of Attraction Mailbag with Ohm Times Magazine.